And what? now, under caution, Juan Pablo Montoya has crashed and gone aflame. Holy cow, what happened? We just got a report that he was complaining about a bad vibration in every gear. No, I, Larry, he just slammed he hit into the jet dryer. I think he slammed into the jet dryer. They're trying to clear debris off the racetrack, and the car brakes, won't steer, and he slides up the track and into the back of that surplus helicopter jet engine on a trailer used to dry the racetrack. Larry, uh, Mike, I saw sparks coming out of the car as if it had a tire down or something. What an incredible turn of events I've never, I've never in my life. Oh my gosh. And all that spilled jet fuel found something hot to ignite it. Safety workers quickly on the scene. And this is a bizarre twist to this Daytona 500. Down in turn number three. Well, I've seen a lot of things, but I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. I, I just wonder if Montoya was going down the back, catching up with the field, and he didn't know the safety truck was up there. They called him on the radio and said, what's that safety truck? And the car darted hard right. And you're looking at what happens when 200 gallons of jet fuel meet a spark or something very hot after a collision like that. More fire trucks going to the scene. Now that's the front of the race car. Uh, it hit the trailer, which went up in the air, and the race car pretty much submarined underneath it. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. See the safety trucks up top? Wow. I mean, it just exploded. When it hit it, it just exploded. And he was traveling at a high rate of speed, oh, yeah. trying to catch back trying up to catch with up the, the field. Back of the field.